A strike team of local firefighters is still in uh, Southern California tonight. We've been following the progress of a strike team, including Fresno, Clovis, Sanger, and Orange Cove City firefighters. Joining us live on the phone from Malibu tonight is Fresno City Battalion Chief Tim Henry. Thank you for joining us again, uh, Chief Henry. And tell me, what kind of conditions did you have tonight, and uh, how did your firefighters fare? Uh, we've been on the fire line most of the day. We started early this morning. We got a few hours of sleep last night and went back out this morning uh, mopping up structures. The uh, containment of the fire uh, worked really well today because the weather um, cooperated, and we were able to get it um, a lot of good work done today. We also, like you said, got a lot of uh, um, unneeded rest resources back home. So they are, uh, they, uh, it looks like uh, we're going to get a few hours sleep tonight, and then hopefully, if nothing changes, we'll be coming home tomorrow. Well, that sounds good. While you were there today, you were telling me earlier that uh, you were in a pretty ritzy area, a nice neighborhood, million dollar, multi million dollar homes, and you helped defend uh, against uh, the fire. Uh, for one of the homes there, a pretty popular person, individual. You tell me who that was? Um, yeah, although I didn't know who he was, um, some of my crew members thought that was uh, impressive. It belonged to um, Axel Rose. And uh, so, yeah, his house actually um, had some damage, burn damage from, from the fire that was uh, extinguished. Uh, his house was saved, but his neighbors weren't so lucky. Interesting. We're actually looking at video. You can't see this, but it's a video of a song called Estrange from Use Your Illusion 2 album back in 1993. That's Axl Rose's home, we believe, in Malibu where it was filmed. Is it still white? Because we're looking at it right now and it appears all white and it's got a phenomenal view. Yes, that's, uh, that's a, it's kind of a cream white and um, he does have the best view um, up that canyon. Pretty phenomenal. I also, I remember you telling me earlier that... Uh, his house was not welcome to the jungle. He actually had cleared out an area all the way around the house, right? So that uh, prevented, uh, made it easier for you guys to keep the fire away. Yeah, he did his, uh, did his clearance around the house. Um, the the uh, landscape was uh, nice and green, and which allowed the engine company to, uh, to stay in there while the fire blew by um, and protect his house and actually uh, knock down the fire as it, his roof started uh, on one corner of it and we were able to knock it down and keep it from burning. Good job. I'm sure he's happy for that. It's a pretty nice home, too. But I wouldn't imagine that uh, he got that from sales of uh, the Spaghetti Incident, rather his other more popular albums. I don't know if you know his music or not. But across the street, wasn't there a multi-million dollar home that was completely burned down? Yeah, his neighbor directly across the street lost, uh, lost everything. It was uh, right on the hillside, and um, it, uh, it's nothing left there but the foundation. It just goes to show you how sometimes just how... Uh, unpredictable the fire can be, but I'm sure he, he appreciates your efforts tonight. I uh, wonder if he'll send you anything. <laughs> yeah, we don't expect anything, nor probably will he ever know who it was. Probably not, but appreciative nonetheless, I would be. Uh, Chief uh, Tim Henry, thank you, sir, for joining us uh, again on 10 o'clock news tonight. Get some good rest, and we'll look forward to seeing you back home here in the Valley. Thank you, Darrell.